Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Going at you 24, I think, today, yeah, 24 September. 90 minutes before London gets in. It's around 6.30 Swiss time. Just going to go through uh, some of the markets here and, and uh, see what we got. We've got this Tesla chart up. Tesla doesn't look that great. Um, Going to be more problems for this fucker, sadly. Um, you know, you're rooting for a company like this, but they've just price and the crowd and got itself into a silly little situation. I think this thing's probably going to go to 200 bucks. Um, so just be careful with this. Big day yesterday, down 10, gap open straight down we talked about you know the fraud at Nikola and, and then I don't know people are going to go after this company for a number of different reasons valuation being kind of one of them but also ego so just be careful Tesla let's go into ES which is more um, something we're, we're accustomed to Traded down to 10 last night. We had some shorts on yesterday, which were okay. Um, while we were beating our head, bloodying our skull uh, with dollars R. Um, this is going to continue lower now. You want to fade this up to 50, 60 today. Stocks don't look too good. We like further downside going forward. On the currency side, Euro's now kind of below all of this. We do think um, we're going to find a bottom. We're going to make a bottom around here soon. I don't know. I don't know exactly where. Somewhere between here and 115, uh, which isn't super helpful. It's like a nice one. Somewhere in the next one and a half percent on something that moves kind of max one percent per day um, but we're looking for a turn we saw no evidence of it yesterday uh, we're waiting the price will tell us <clears throat> we'll see we'll see when the buyers take charge again right now the buyers uh, do not have control uh, I wouldn't say the sellers are, are wildly in control either it's just kind of dripping lower um, so we'll see cable I don't know why we didn't make more money yesterday we were short into the open we got long um, below 127 uh, just lack of discipline really I mean we just didn't just uh, I don't want to talk about it it's so annoying um, you know we just kind of bailed out of the position out of boredom didn't add to it through 13 like we were supposed to anyway here we are back at 127.10 that was yesterday bygones um, now we're here today we do think this also is going to put in some sort of uh, floor yesterday we said 126.65 was going to be the floor I think it traded down to 70 75 um, somewhere between 75 and 126 the figure we think this is going to base and turn so looking for that same action today not much to do on the tactical book at 127.10 we just sit tight for now but looking for the turn dollar swiss uh, SNB today so I don't know what they're going to say what they're going to do god they're bleeding they're having some rectal bleeding over there this week. They own AT&T, which is down 10%. They own Apple. They own basically Fang. Um, man, are they fucked. Uh, as far as, like, how does it feel to lose $80 billion in a week? At some level, I know they don't care. But it's a big number, right? What's your weekly VAR? Oh, I don't know, 65 billion. Um, worrying. 
Uh, I don't know how I don't know how things are gonna end well over there. I don't. I really don't understand how they're gonna. I don't, might take a hundred years, but that whole story is incredibly worrying. Um, anyway, biggest hedge fund in the world are gonna talk today. I don't expect much out of them. Um, there's no way they're gonna take rates even more negative. Uh, they'll just kind of jawbone and be very Swiss about it. As far as dollar Swiss is concerned, uh, the big resistance is up here, uh, 93.60. We're through 92. We closed above. Should be support now down at 92. Uh, not sure what to do with this, but we will be selling this up at 93.50.60. Um, on the SMB day. Dollar Yen also looking for a turn 105.75 uh, is very strong resistance. Not sure this is going to make it over 50. Um, quietly waiting for this to turn. And our friend Dollar Czar. Uh, lots of 1% moves, 1% hourly moves, right? Bang, 1700. Bang, 1684, 1%, 1%, up 2% to 709, down to 92. Down to 92. What the fuck? Um, classic. Classically out of sync with this yesterday. Didn't really have the rhythm. Um, just annoying. Kind of new. You know, we've been talking about this. We know this is going to go higher. We know the RAND is fucked. We know their country is fucked uh, on so many levels, and you want to get into it. Um, and, you know, we made peanuts so far on this move 100 and 112 big figures. Uh, but it's got a lot more to go, so we just got to sort of drill down and try and um, today we're going to try and buy weakness so moves down towards the figure down towards 95 we'll try and pick up some dollar rand next big resistance is 80 1780 could get there quite quickly um, we think this will be at 20 uh, at the end of the year so keep an eye out dollar rand dollar max through our little trend line there, went up, uh, I don't know, 80, 80 handles. Uh, big day in dollar max yesterday, followed with the risk off. Uh, very, very bullish. Four days now, 20.85 to 22.40. Uh, last time I checked, that's 160 handles. Dollar Max looks robust. Looking for some sideways action today in Max. It's kind of done enough for now. Uh, it's retarded cousin Dollar Cad, also bullish, uh, running into resistance um, on this 134 handle. We kind of were looking to get short yesterday, 60, 70, but we cut at the close there at 80. Uh, just another fucking dud idea late in the day yesterday while we're tired um, resistance here 134.80 so we could probably sell some stretchy stretch highs in, in dollar cad Aussie ball kick uh, on its knees for very very classic red days um, and now today looks like gonna be fifth. Let's uh, let's see how this thing goes. I don't know where to sell it today. I guess try and try and sell high ones between 70 and 80 if you can. You don't really want to stretch and sell low ones after big four down days. Kiwi, same shit. Uh, this would be interesting if we get a chance at a balance at 64, 90. Um, balance sideways and then that might be, give us a platform to uh, resell gold bears one 
I wasn't sure yesterday. We said 1879 was going to be the line. We never got above there. We never got above the 79 yesterday. So we'll give the victory to the Bears. Um, 72 has been the high today. 55 the low. This is GCZ that I'm talking about. Futures market, not the cash market. Um, looking for some sideways and looking for a turn here on this chart 1830 should be support I don't think we're gonna see that because so many people are talking about it as support um, the bids down there probably will not get given but bears have won for now we're still gonna use <clears throat> 79 as our bull bear line in this region um, and then we're going to have another look at this if we can get down to those uh, those 30 lows. Somehow I don't think that's going to happen. Let's take a look at BTPs. What in God's name is going on here? Obviously the ECB is buying a fair bit of this shit. This 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 straight up days. Um... Italian yields 85 basis points this makes no sense to us um, European banks are screwed balance sheets are screwed this is one of the most mispriced uh, financial instruments we've seen in a long time we're gonna wait for price to confirm for us but we'll be looking for try we'll be looking to try and get short BTPs today um, it's a bit of a shocker. ZB, it's just treading water here now. Um, starting to worry about whether foreigners are going to just stop buying U.S. assets or get out of U.S. assets. This won't be good for the U.S. bond market, including ZB. ZN will probably take the brunt of that, but just quietly selling high ones uh, seems to be the way. Yesterday was a doji. Looked very offered, looked very bid, closed where it opened, continuing in this treading water. A little bit of a platform here to sell through 28, 175, 28, 1, 2, 3, 4 lows there. Um, this thing's just deciding which way it wants to go. Uh, we think a southern journey south is probably the most likely. As far as the calendar goes today, um, Obviously, SNB, 9.30 Swiss time. We got Powell again and Munchen and these guys testifying. They're not really going to say too much. ECB Bulletin, Economic Bulletin's out, IFO's out. None of this really matters too, too much. Um, and Bailey speaking from the BOE. More hot air from uh, central banks. So... Selling high ones in stocks. We still have a little tiny little core short position. Uh, we're going to try and buy low ones in dollars R. And looking, patiently waiting for the turn in the dollar here. Um, so dollar yen up at 75. Euro somewhere. We're not even sure where. Euro it's going to be. Price will tell us. So we're just watching, patiently watching. Um, waiting for this dollar to turn all right that's all i got for you guys have a good trading day uh talk to you tomorrow ciao